before this video starts guys we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime synapsex keys now synapsex is one of the best paid executors out there so if you do want a chance to win of course just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our discord server once you do join the discord server head over to the verified channel once you're into the verified channel go ahead and click on this button right here which says click to verify and that will give you the verified role then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here now of course if you're subscribed to the channel you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here but if you do want to increase your chances of winning then you can boost the server so if you do have nitro you can simply boost the server and of course you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well so good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway now let's get back into the video hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to be looking at an executor called comet now this is a newly released executor and i'm definitely very impressed with it so we'll go through the showcase i'll show you how to set it up um so make sure you watch the video to the very end so firstly make sure you're on windows 10 or 11 it's very important um because most of the executors only support windows 10 or 11. so the very first thing you want to do is come down over to the windows icon right here if you're on windows 10 it should be in the corner over here uh, you can also press the windows key on your keyboard and it should bring up the menu um, so i'm on windows 11 so i will click over here again if you're on windows 10 you click on the icon in the bottom left corner when you do click that you want to search for virus and threat protection just like that it will open up this menu right here if it says that this um, menu or this kind of program is managed by another organization if it says that at the very top then what you need to do is go back into search and go into control panel go into uninstall a program and find your antivirus so what that means is that you have another antivirus uh, on your computer and what you need to do is either uninstall it or you need to disable it so you should know how to do that if you do have another antivirus by default it should be virus and threat protection which is the windows security um, but if you can find the other antivirus right click it and click on uninstall and that will go ahead and remove that antivirus so it's really important that you do that or you can disable it manually by going into that antivirus settings i can't unfortunately help you with that because it is completely your decision uh, you were the one that installed the antivirus so i can't really help you with that okay so you need to be able to figure that out on your own find it uninstall it or disable it but if your uh, screen does look similar to mine where it says just virus and threat protection go into manage settings over here and then make sure you turn off real-time protection so we're only going to do this temporarily temporarily uh, so it's very important that you disable this otherwise this will not work okay um, it would remove the um, the Comet Executor because Comet Executor is a DLL program uh, and by default Windows Defender removes any DLLs uh, that are external okay so make sure you remove or sorry turn off real-time protection so by default it will be on like this you want to turn it off it might give you a little option where you have to approve it make sure you approve it and it is disabled just like it is here I don't know why it's glitching for me uh, but make sure it is disabled all right once you do disable real-time protection then you need a program called winrar okay so this is a, um, a program that's completely free i will leave a link to it in the description below you simply download it um, you can open up the link once you do open up the link you just want to click over here and you can choose where you want to download this for me you can just you know i usually download it to my desktop and you can click save and you can download it uh, it shows you the step-by-step -step guide all right here so make sure you just follow this okay it's not hard at all so you can see these pictures you can just follow these um i already have been right installed as you can see over here so i don't actually have to do this again um so once you do have it installed and you have real-time protection off uh then you can come over or um to the download of the comet executor so you can download it and if it look if it looks similar to this where it's just like a bookshelf then you've done it right then you can right click this and go into venra and click on extract here once you do that it will create a new folder on your desktop okay so once the new folder has been created you want to come back into virus and threat protection you want to scroll all the way down uh, after you go into manage settings of course scroll all the way down uh, until you see add or remove exclusions you want to click on add an exclusion choose folder and then choose where you have downloaded this program or you have extracted this program for me it's on my desktop i'm just simply going to click this as you can see it matches with the name over here uh, make sure you don't double click it make sure you don't actually open it uh, just single click it so it's highlighted just like that and click on select folder 
and it will be added to your exclusions as you can see mine is right here once you do that then you can turn on real time protection again then it's not a problem at all okay but that's pretty much how you set up the executor uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into the gameplay i'm going to show you how it works uh, and it definitely is really cool um, so firstly let's go ahead and launch the executor so comet 3 this is the application you need to launch but this is the alpha version so they haven't actually released the full version of the game so it's still in beta they're still you know sort of doing some testing um but it still looks really really cool and i'm very very impressed with the startup i have already done it so i'm not quite sure if it will allow me to do the setup again so you can see a little you can hear a little tune uh, as it starts up to kind of make you aware that it is launching once it does launch uh, unfortunately i didn't actually get the other menu um because i have already set it up um, but it does ask you what you want to name your executor or your username so for me it's just comment user uh, you can also choose a the theme etc uh, so there's a lot of stuff that you can actually do with this which is really really interesting really cool um, and yeah so i haven't really seen that in many executors so i was really impressed with that uh, you can also turn on topmost which keeps the application on the very top so even if i drag something on top of it it will still stay on top if i turn this off um, if I turn this off, um, I'm not sure why it's not working. It should be working. Let me try again. Settings topmost is off. Maybe I have to reopen the program, but usually when you turn off topmost, then you can drag other applications on top of it. Uh, I definitely do think I have to restart the program for that. Uh, you can also turn on guess if a uh, comment is patched. So this won't be accurate, but it will give you an indicator uh, if comment is not working. So maybe every Thursday it might give you a little error top which uh, shows you because roblox usually updates on uh, every wednesday uh, so it might give you a little error on wednesday saying that it needs to be patched but it's completely up to you if you want to turn that on um up next we've got some other menus so you've also got a script um scripts you can search for scripts over here you can also look at your favorite scripts in here uh you can see the scripts on the side right here as i've opened up the panel it's opening up some websites there we go so it's opening up the we are devs website uh, and i think i accidentally closed the executor so let's go ahead and open that back up here we go let's wait for it to load again it's making the little tune i'm not quite sure if you can hear it in the video but it does make a little bit of a sound effect before it does open um, and there we go um, you can also go onto the side menu which is your script box so you've got a bunch of scripts in here already that it comes with so you can change this if you go into the scripts folder in here you can see all of the scripts in here so if you have any interesting scripts that you want to use on a regular you can just throw them in here uh, and you will be able to view it in this menu and all you can do is just go ahead and left click and it will load up the script for you um what do we have all right so let's let's look at the other options that are available so let's go back over here this is my user profile i'm not quite sure what these keys do i don't think they do anything um you can also I think so the keys um also so it is a executor that does require a key the um the keys actually uh, pretty much reset every 24 hours um so you can get a new key from here i will show you the process of getting a new key as well so don't worry what i'm going to do now is i'm going to jump into a game and i will show you the executor in action uh, and i will also show you how to get the actual key and how to inject into the, into the game so i'll see you in just a minute all right here we go so we've loaded into the game um and this is the inject button right here now if you don't have a key it will open up the first menu and it will ask you to get a key and in that case it will take you to this page right here when you click get key what you need to do is simply go ahead and complete this step so it's asking us to click each image containing a teacup with similar sort of design on it so it's sort of like a blue design so let's go ahead and do that and it has approved us so it will take us to a link where it ties um there's only two steps so you simply click free access um and it might ask you to i have already done it so it's not actually making me do it again but it will bring up a little menu where you ha might have to wait 10 seconds it might ask you to download a third party browser which you can remove later uh, but once you do complete both of the steps you can click on copy key uh, and as you can see this is my key right here i don't actually need it uh, but then i would have to paste that key into the executor and click on approve key uh, and that will go ahead and approve the key for 24 hours and i can then use it uh, guys try not to use this key because it's not actually going to work for you uh, you need to get your own key but if you do go through the process and it asks you to download a browser called avg browser uh, once you have downloaded it you can come over to this icon go into control panel again and you can just simply go into uninstall a program 
and find the AVG browser wherever it may be. Right click it and click on uninstall and then you can go through the uninstall process and it will be removed from your computer. Okay, so there's nothing to worry about at all. But once you do launch into the game, you can click on inject. If it does give you a fatal error, what you need to do is run the executor as admin. Okay, so for me, it injected perfectly fine as you can see. It does only take around a second to inject, but if it gives you a fatal error when injecting, then just simply go ahead and run the executor as admin, as you can see right here. So just go over to the executor, close out of the actual current executor, right click and click on run as admin. If it gives you a little pop up, click yes. Okay, so that should fix the fatal error when injecting the executor. If you get a fatal error when executing a script, then you need to find a different script. Okay, so if you get a fatal error when you execute a script, that means that script is not supported by this executor. Um, now, I'm going to just simply choose the aimbot 3.0 that is pretty much already with the executor. It comes with the executor and it has been loaded in right here. I'm going to click on run and then I can minimize out the executor. And here we go. I'll turn on ESP. You can see it's working perfectly fine. I can also turn on champs. Uh, which for some reason bugged out a little bit but i think when i go into the game it should be fine and i also turn on aim lock uh, and let's go ahead and deploy into the game now um so again you can if you want to cheat on for example uh arsenal then you can simply use something called um uh, owl hub it is really op but for me you can see the aim aim <laughs> the, the aim bot and also the esp is working perfectly fine but owl hub is definitely a lot better when it comes to arsenal I don't know why I jumped off there, but let's go ahead and respawn and we will continue just like so. It's just locking onto perfect players, perfectly fine. Um, the game is kind of chaotic right now. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of stuff happening. Uh, I do feel like if I had our hub right now, it would be a lot better, um, but we still got it. Here we go. It's just locking onto pretty much everyone near me. Um, this isn't the best weapon to use aim lock on. Uh, just because it does have a little bit of a delay before it hits, but oh, we actually got them. Did we? I don't know. It should have switched our weapon. It didn't. Maybe someone else took the kill and we just damaged them. But here we go. The perfect. We're doing pretty good. And we just died. Um, so again, like I said, if you want to use another script for Arsenal, go for Owl Hub. Uh, the executor is supported on pretty much every game, just like any other executor. So um, if you do have another script that you want to use, you can simply paste it in here. Um, just like that. Like I just pasted my key. <laughs> Uh, and you click run and that should run the script for you without a problem right now i'm just using a script that this executor already comes with um it's not made for arsenal it can be used on arsenal um but since it's a universal script it can be used on a lot of games um it doesn't have the best features that you would expect from a game or from a script that is made for a specific game um but here we go we're gonna get that kill over there we're gonna get that kill uh, we're gonna yeah we're going we're popping off right now again we got a weapon that has some sort of delay before landing and those aren't usually the best with aimbot or you can't make the most use out of aimbot with those sort of weapons uh and right now i'm just holding my right click uh, or my right mouse button and i'm just shooting away and it's just keeping it just keeps on switching targets uh anyone that comes in my field of view it does lock onto them and you can see we were pretty behind and right now we're in lead and we're about to win this game let's see if we can win uh, hopefully we can so we've got the golden knife now um and let's see if we can just lock on oh that was so close we just got killed last second all right let's try again let's try again let him come closer let him come closer and boom 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 oh come on all right one last try come on we've still got a pretty good lead we don't have to really worry so we should be good all right let's not go for him let's go around the back maybe there's a guy up at top. Oh, someone's shooting me. Uh, all right, let's let's get this guy. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy. If you do have any questions, like I said, just join the Discord server that you will find a link to down in the description below. Uh, and with that being said, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.